Hey everyone, I welcome you all to another session by Simply Learn. In this session, we will learn about ASP.NET Navigation Bar. This video will explain you about ASP.NET Navigation Bar and guide you through it. Let's look at what's in it for you in this session. We shall begin with understanding what is ASP.NET, followed by which we will look at what is Navigation Bar. And finally, we will look at a demo on how to create a navigation bar. But before we begin, make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel and clicked on the bell icon so you never miss an update from Simply Learn. Watch the video till the end so that you don't miss the demo. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. What is ASP.NET? ASP.NET is a server side technology used for developing dynamic websites and web applications. It is the latest version of Active Server Pages. Microsoft released ASP.NET in 2002 and had an extension .aspx. What is a navigation bar in ASP.NET? Navigation bar in ASP.NET is used to create a navigation header for a website or a web application. It makes it simple for an application to browse. ASP.NET has three navigation controls, dynamic menus, tree views, and sitemap path. Dynamic menu displays the standard site navigation menu, whereas tree views displays a multi-level navigation menu, and sitemap path displays a trail to the current page and link to the previous page. Now let us look at a demo on how to create a navigation bar. So we have opened Visual Studio 2019. Go to File, New, Create a New Project. We'll select ASP.NET Core Web App Model View Controller Template. Scroll down. So select this template, click on next. Provide the project name. Since we are creating a navigation bar, so we'll provide the project name as navbar. Click on next. And if you want to change the target framework, you can change it here. I'll keep the default one. Click on create. So here you can see the project is successfully created. Let's click on view and open solution explorer. So now let us run this and see what is the output. Here you can see the build has started. Here you can see it is running on local host and this is the default nav bar which is created. So what we'll do is we'll go and change this navigation bar. So go back to Visual Studio. Go to Solution Explorer. Go to Views. Go to layout.cshtml. Open this file. And here you can see If you look, look inside the header, this is the navbar. So what we'll do is, we'll delete this navbar. So this is the small code which I have pasted here. So I have created a class navbar and provided the background color as dark and I, I haven't provided any link as of now and i have named it as simply learn and similarly i have created another class in this class i have created a drop down in this drop down i have 
name data courses articles and others so let us go and run this and see the output so this is the nav bar which we created the simply learn home about and we created a drop down resources in this drop down we have courses articles and others similarly we have contact us and we have this search bar this was this is the nav bar which we created so we'll go back to the code so here we have created another class nav bar contact us and this is where we created the search bar so with that we have reached the end of this video like and share it if you found it interesting thank you for being here keep learning and stay tuned to simply learn hi there if you like this video subscribe to the simply learn youtube channel and click here to watch similar videos to nerd up and get certified click here